I hope I'll be alive for your wedding. And I have something very small. Grandma Etty, this is beautiful. <laughs> Honey, guess what Grandma Etty got me? <sighs> it's stunning. I heard uh, Grandma gave you a nice gift. Can we have a look at it? Yeah, absolutely, Uncle. Oh my God, Joseph, I think I've dropped it. Joseph, I think I've dropped it. Oh, oh, Grandma! Oh, oh, no, I don't. I remember wearing it and I became here. Oh, oh, Grandma, I'm really sorry. Did you find it? Did you find the necklace? How fast is it? Oh, Grandma, I'm really sorry. Oh, Grandma, I'm really sorry. That film was made purely with a Panasonic GH5 and an 18 to 35. Sigma lens and like the reason I'm making this video is because I think a lot of people feel quite intimidated by making a film right they're like they don't know what they're getting themselves into and I coming from like a run and gun shooter filming events filming you know all sorts of kind of crazy big events that you just don't know how it will unfold you just go there you capture and you come back and you edit going from there to then creating like a f proper film with like you know lighting guy sound guy producer executive producer like they're all there they were all we were full on and then there's just like me with like my little tan held gh5 and everyone's like people were looking at me like quite a little bit funny i have to say um but i said to myself you know it, it doesn't matter like how you shoot a film you know it really doesn't matter as long as you get the shots that you need as long as you kind of get the shots from the script it doesn't matter if you look like somebody that's shooting a sh i don't know something for netflix you know who cares who cares like i didn't have the filmmaker look but if you have a talent if you feel that you know that you can deliver something it doesn't matter what people think honestly um and I think stepping into that zone of filmmaking, which I'm just totally out of my comfort zone, totally, totally, totally. I'm just used to, you know, capturing and then editing after. I'm not used to all this teaming up with so many different people and, and, and being like, you know, greater than like the sum of the parts, which is basically what it was. You know, I, there were so many times I wanted to control certain situations but I had to hold myself back and say look that's not my role in this film and being able to you know do what you do best even with a Panasonic GH5 which is a great camera don't get me wrong but you might kind of always compare yourself to people who shoot on red and you know bigger cameras that just look the part in the end, the film did really well and, and, and got around and just kind of, we've, we've hit home with certain people. It was a very emotional video. I will link the video in the description. You can watch the whole thing. It's about nine minutes long if you decide you want to watch it. But I just thought I'd share that with you because it's important. It's important to kind of realize that it's not about the camera and it's not about the gear. You know, if you are going to make something for Netflix, go and, you know, go and hire yourself a decent camera but if you're just starting out you want to make a film you're passionate it doesn't matter what camera you use this is for all my gh5 users be strong stay creative and i'll see you in the next one